Here I am again, Barry with Barry's 8-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. This time we're demonstrating the 8-Track player out of a 66 Mustang. It's a standalone 8-Track player. Uh, customer has requested that uh, this unit be converted for use with a modern reproduction radio, so this is now just a uh, an aux source for that radio. And then, of course, since this uses up your radio's aux input, I add an extra jack in the back so you can still use an aux source. Anytime this is not being used, uh, your aux source will just pass straight through this onto your reproduction radio. Uh, this does not have to be powered up to pass the aux source on. So let's go ahead and uh, pop in some Niels Sedaka and make sure the 8-track works properly. Okay, check our... Make sure we got both sides working. Okay, switch tracks a bunch of times. There's not much to test on a standalone 8 track player since this is now just an aux sort, it's basically a component deck, which means these controls will no longer have any effect because all that's done at the radio now. Uh, but the, uh, of course, the track change button still does work. So that takes care of that. Um, I'm Barry with Barry's 8 track and classic car radio repair, and I can do the same thing to your 8 track if you have a modern reproduction radio and you can no longer use your 8 track because your 8 track was designed to work into a common ground speaker system and your reproduction radio for maximum performance has to run into a fully isolated speaker system with no grounds or common wires in that speaker system. So that would be the reason to convert your rate track if you got a modern radio. So uh, thanks so much for watching and listening. Thank you, David, uh, for your business all the way from Stewart, Florida. That's all the way across the country, and we'll see you guys next time.